We're coming to an end, warmer weather heating up. There's a concern, as always, every year that teens will be spending their free time on the streets. Yeah, Cincinnati police say there's always an increase in teen violence incidents throughout the summer, but would a curfew be the answer? Mike Shell's live from District 1 Police Headquarters in the West, and he spoke to some community leaders about a possible solution. Mike, I thought there was already a curfew in effect for quite some time now. Uh, yeah, for several decades, Trisha, this is a multifaceted problem. Everyone I spoke with today acknowledged it. Job opportunities and community outreach are two possible answers, but the law on the books here in Cincinnati says that teens can be arrested if they are out past a certain time of the night. The threat of a curfew violation doesn't appear to have much effect. Back in January, this group of teens went on the attack downtown. How do you discourage this type of bad behavior? Keep plugging at it. You know, it's, 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 one, it's the elephant that you can't eat in one bite. But I think when you institute a number of things, like I said, job opportunities, you're right. There's some that don't, won't take advantage of that. But then there are others that will. The city's curfew ordinance has been on the books since 1994, requiring 16 and 17-year-olds to be at home by midnight, even earlier for teens under 16. Rating, it shall be unlawful for any minor under the age of 16 years to be away from the dwelling, house, or usual place of abode of said minor between the hours of 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. of the following day. But could the city get into legal trouble for not enforcing the curfew? I suppose in theory the city could be held liable, but because of the doctrine of sovereign immunity, I think it would be very difficult for someone to recover against the city. It's an interesting thought, and I don't know whether it's been tried anywhere before, but I think it would be a long shot. Does the curfew need to be more strictly enforced? When we have the manpower to pay attention to those that particular uh, uh, um, legislation, yes. Yes, we are concerned. Iris Rowley and her community outreach group spend their afternoons at Government Square engaging with teens. What is it that we want from children? The adults need to sit down and really decide that, and not just to decide to impart more police or more sanctions from juvenile court. Scotty Johnson was a member of the police department's curfew team, but that was more than 25 years ago when the department was fully staffed. Not short the 200 officers it is today. Can we ever get back to that? Yeah, I mean, we got to. We're going to keep trying to do everything we can to properly staff the Cincinnati Police Department, and we're going to try to do everything we can to use all those tools in the tool belt to make sure Cincinnati is the safest place in in America. And Scotty Johnson says parents play a pivotal role in their children's behavior, especially uh, during the summer months. He says the program is symbol know where they are and what they are doing. And Johnson says holding them accountable for things like being out past the curfew would only keep them safe and out of juvenile detention. Reporting live from the West End, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now.